All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the Pip Pad mod which is being made by the Pimp Crew and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a replacement for that old wrist-mounted Pip-Boy in the form of a new handheld Pip Pad and oh my guys, I cannot tell you how much I love this mod, as frankly it's something that's always kind of confused me why they changed it in Fallout 3 to having the Pip-Boy be wrist mounted, as in the previous original Fallout games, Fallout 1, Fallout 2, and Fallout Tactics, the Pip-Boy was always a handheld computer device, but for some strange reason they made the decision to slap it onto your arm and frankly, that kind of weirded me out. And so ever since Fallout 3 with that, Fallout New Vegas, and now for Fallout 4, I always looked for mods to make it handheld once again. And thankfully here in 4, we now have the Pip Pad. And that is just a beautiful thing. And you guys know me, I love lore-friendly reasons for my mods to be in the game. And so it being handheld again is very, very lore-friendly. But as an additional bonus, the name Pit Pad is also lore-friendly, as it's the name that was given to a digital reader that was seen in one of the development pictures for Project V13, which was one of the Fallout games that sadly never got released due to, um, reasons. And yes, uh, just a few photos were ever released of it, one of which being, as I said, a digital reader with the name on it. Pip pad, and so that name there too is fr is lore friendly, and so all in all, it just makes me smile. And plus, I mean, come on, look at this thing. It is simply gorgeous. Just look at the detailing of the modeling, the texturing on this thing. It is frankly probably one of the most beautiful mods I've seen come out of the Nexus. Just the quality and detailing that's gone into it really, really makes me happy. I've got to hand it to the pimp crew. Just with all the minor details they put into this, they really did an amazing job. I just, I love all the little ports, the knobs, even the bits around the end. It kind of reminds me of some of the ruggedized tablets I have at work, which is just, just amuses me to no end. And so it's just overall very good looking, very awesome, lore friendly, and just cool. And I like the idea of it, as of course in the Wasteland, Pit Boys were supposed to be rare. I mean, I know, we came from a vault and we picked up one on our way out. And But still, I, I like the idea of it being handheld so you can hide it away and people don't know you're a vault dweller. I mean, I know, with how the game's programmed, that's never going to happen. But still, it's, it's, it, makes, it makes me smile and makes me at least think that way. Now, of course, with it being handheld now, if we do go into third person... Well, look at that. It is no longer on our wrist. So if you do actually have any mods that take the Pip-Boy off of your wrist, um, yeah, it will conflict with those, so maybe turn those off. Which, I mean, come on, it's not on the wrist anymore, so why would you need that anyways? But yes, that is going to be one thing to note, though, as you guys may have noticed with different, uh, different uniforms and clothing items, etc. Do look a little bit weird without a Pip-Boy because they were designed with a Pip-Boy there in mind. Now, this armor looks just fine, but of course some shirts will be rolled up on the one arm, things like that, just to keep in mind uh, that some outfits will be a little bit weird. But overall, I can live with it considering I now have a handheld Pip-Boy. Which granted, I also just noticed even in here, you can kind of see that uh, nature. We have the bits of armor on my right hand, but you don't see it on my left hand over there. Hmm, intriguing, even though you do when we go in the third person. Awesome. Lovely, lovely little glitches. But I don't think there's anything the pimp crew can do about that. That's just the nature of the game. As for other known issues with this, because no matter how good this baby is, there's of course going to be some issues considering how many other mods exist out there in the world, that there is some conflicting issues if you use a mod 
that uses the FX equip slot that this uses. If that is the case, this mod does add in, oh no, not eight items, we need to be in miscellaneous, there we go, choose the right thing. If we go all the way down to the bottom, we will have a settings holo tape, which if we pop in, which I already did earlier, you can change the FX slot that this thing is using, just in case you have a mod that conflicts with that same slot. So, which is a nice little feature to have that you can do that right in here without much fuss. Uh, but overall, I really haven't encountered that much. Again, typically if, you know, it's a mod that messes with the Pip-Boy in any way, shape, or form, that's probably good to, you know, take that away before you install this. But there still could be some other odd ones out there. And that's why you have this options right there. Very nice. Now, as for some other issues, uh, <laughs> I would recommend that you install this after exiting Vault 111. As if you install it before exiting Vault 111, when you actually do pick up the Pip-Boy in the vault, you'll get some weird lag issues. And also, if you then use the flashlight with the Pip-Boy on, yeah, it'll, it'll break things, so just <laughs> install it afterwards. Now, granted, if you do install it beforehand, it's not the end of the world. You're just going to have some weird issues until you leave. Once you leave, you can open up the Pip-Boy, close it, and open it again, and it should be back to normal. But yeah, that's that's just the only other issue. Now, besides that, I mean, it, it'll work just like any other Pip-Boy. There we go. We can load a hollow tape in there and... You know, load Zeta invaders if we so desire. We can, of course, use all the knobs and twiddle the things on it so that it works just like the normal Pip-Boy. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous mod. So if you would like to try this out for yourself, and I definitely would suggest, suggest that you guys go and do it, because it's just cool. And like I said, it brings it back to the original Pip-Boy handheld nature. And that makes me a happy, happy camper. Uh, but if you would like to check it out, check out the link in the description as always. And I do hope that you have enjoyed this video today and that you do come back for the next when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.